Good morning, Uganda. Good morning, Africa. I'm Pastor Senyonjo Vambusive from Vambusive Church in Nansana. I'm happy to be here. The great joy and the great power of God has been always with us. I thank you people who give me feedbacks on my WhatsApp number. And uh, some of you are also subscribing on uh, YouTube channel. I love you so much. May God bless you. Please, I see your messages. Sometimes I reply. Some of you have just uh, joined me today and you want to join, to join me on, on my YouTube channel. Please check and search for Pastor Senyonjo Vambusive. You write PR Senyonjo, then Vambusive. You'll be right there and subscribe. Uh, people of Vambusive Church, I love you so much. Some of you who are in the diaspora, please, you can tell your friends we are right here and you can share the message always. We have daily prayers in these 60 days. I welcome you. Special things are going on. People are getting transformation. So for some of you who always view from wherever, from far, if you can't come, please try to come. God will bless you. Today I want to share with you about the power in meditation. Do you know that everything that you see happening in this world some of you find very tall buildings. Some of you find very good businesses. Some of you find very good homes, marriages. Some of you see good, uh, good farms eh? or good gardens. You know, you walk around the town and see beautiful businesses. Where are these things originating? These things are originating from some people's meditation. Somebody sat down one day and began to meditate about something. You know, it doesn't come because of your religion or the religion which came from Arabia or Europe. No, it comes because of humanity. You sit down and you begin to, to hear some voices flowing down. You get imaginations of how it should be. Even at the time when you are suffering and you don't have what to eat, but the imaginations will flow like a flow of river. That's when great people sit down and write down their visions. They say, I want to be this. I will do this. I'm going to be successful. I'm going to have such a business. Because of meditations, I have never seen destruction that has happened to people who have been told that they should not meditate about their humanity, about their stand, but meditate about the coming of the Savior, meditate about heaven and hell, meditate about what will happen in the, the, the end time. That means you'll begin to meditate, but after the class, nothing will happen to you You'll become a prey to some predators. You'll become a useless thing because the meditation that you have put inside your mind and your brain is taking you to nowhere. I love the scripture that says that, and God said, chapter of Genesis 26, I mean chapter 1 and verse 26, that let us make man in our own image and in our own likeness. What's the image of the God that who was talking that scripture? The one who said that let there be. Because at first he looked around and he thought and knew that things are not supposed to be like that. And I love it when the Bible says in Genesis chapter 1 uh, that when God saw the light, he saw it was good. What is that thing that you think that if it happens, it will be good? I want to awaken your understanding today to begin to think and concentrate on the ideas which are flowing in your mind. What is that idea flowing in your mind? What are you thinking of your tomorrow? What are you thinking about your children? What are you thinking about your education? Are you comfortable to live in that rental house for the next 10 years? Are you comfortable to live in that group you call friends? 
that when you meet, you talk about which woman is so big, has big bums. When you meet your friends, you talk about who loves who. Love discussions. But when there is no content that can help you to come out of bondage, I always remind people that it's very important for somebody to first understand where he's standing so that you'll understand which step to take to go to another level. Meditation. If you have bad meditations, I just pray that Obusebe Bukuveko Luarero. Wicked mind is filling your heart. You are a pregnant woman. But whenever you try to keep quiet like this, the mind tells you, at the time of your labor, you are going to die. You will not have children. I'm talking about an infertile woman. You, have, you are looking for children, but there is no fertility. You don't conceive. But something wicked is telling you that you are not going to produce. That's a bad meditation. Whenever you keep quiet like this, when you are alone, you begin to hear voices telling you that today as you are going at the place of work or the journey that you have, you are going to get an accident and you are going to die. What kind of meditation is that? That's wicked. What are you thinking about your husband? Whenever he comes back home, you look at his face, looking at him whether he has some marks of lipstick, that have been put upon him by a certain malaya. The mind upon your husband is ever negative. Okay, even if he does it, why do you allow it to fill your mind? You look at your wife, and all the time you say, I'm not going to stay with this woman for the next two years. I think he's going to leave me alone. He's going to run away from here. And he's filled in you. You are in an office. You are getting money. But all the time, something inside your mind and inside your, your heart is telling you that you are going to be terminated from Job. Whenever you look east or west, you see things is, are telling you that you are not going to be successful in that job. What is that kind of negativity are you moving through? It is time right now to change your attitude. Begin to think good, positive. I will not say think positive, but think good. And that which you desire to happen to you tomorrow, I want you to put it in your mind today. Because of bad attitudes and bad meditations, many people have died. Some of you are in families, but there is no love. Everybody is an enemy with one another. Look at your family. You look at it. And then... You find everything is not okay. The elder brother is fighting against the mother. The mother is fighting against the daughter. The daughter is fighting against the father. Again, this one is fighting. The whole family is in a mess. So what do you think will happen to you, the members of that family, if you don't change something in your mind? I always tell you, and I'm telling us today, that if you go and find out that you're coming from such a family, it's better you come out as a different man and say, enough is enough. You leave away everything and then you change the attitude. Leave them to be like that. Begin a new life and then you'll see something new happening to you. Please change your attitude, change your mind, cast away wicked thoughts. Father, I thank you for everybody who is listening and I pray that by the power in the word, you bless everybody, bless the men and women, plus the children. Those who have wrong attitudes and wrong meditations, I pray that you change them. I pray that those ideas, that bad idea goes off their mind. You'll live and be successful in your job, I pray. You'll be successful in your marriage, in your education, in your everything. God be with you. By that prayer now and forever we go. I'm Pastor Senyon Jovamswe. Please call me on 0752 And you can WhatsApp on 0782 We are there always on Wednesday. You want to see me one-on-one -on -one, Wednesday at 8 
a.m. up to 3 p.m. But every day of the week at 5 p.m. we have evening services. Come and join us. Sunday, we have fellowship at 10 a.m. Then don't forget, Vamsve Church is located at Nansana Town, opposite Nabweru Main Road. My YouTube channel is PR Senyonjo Vamsve. You search for Pastor Senyonjo Vamsve, then subscribe. I love you so much. We meet next time.